Hey there, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we're finally going to be talking about from Charles Wesley Godwin, Family Ties. Another review that's long overdue, and given that I've literally mentioned him in passing as an indie country act that y'all should be listening to far more, and I actually hadn't covered him in full detail, time to correct that mistake. So, singer-songwriter out of West Virginia, with a smoother twang that almost reminds me of Gordon Lightfoot, and was considerably warmer and richer production than I expected, full of fiddle and pedal steel to accentuate his homespun and deeply textured stories, the album I really should have covered was his 2020 one sophomore album, How the Mighty Fall, a truly excellent breakout that won over the indie country fans in spades and showed the sort of ambition, maturity, and compositional chops to make the songs that felt damn near anthemic. And this new project, clocking in at 70 minutes and 19 tracks, that was gonna test it. Hell, that's more than Zach Bryan dropping this year, who just so happened to put out an EP on the same release date and wound up stealing a bit of oxygen and intention from this including from me, mostly because I hadn't yet done the full deep dive. But now that I have... Okay, the odd thing is that this album can feel like it kind of resists analysis, mostly because of how straightforward it feels. Charles Wesley Godwin wrote an extended album celebrating family, with a keen focus on his own wife and children, and what that has meant that his touring career has kept him so much further from them than he wants, questioning whether or not it's all worth it. All set against terrifically warm acoustics, gorgeous fiddle, touches of piano and some spare backing vocals, and rock-solid comp positions with that slightest trace of that Celtic bounce that's always lurked just below the surface. Now I might have a few production nitpicks. The flood feels like it's perhaps a half step away from really exploding, even if the trumpet does sound impressive. I personally think I prefer Cole Chaney's song of the same name and covering a lot of the same topics. And well, I get going for that mainstream accessible bombast for Q Country Roads. It is part of the point that's jabbing at that industry. The clunkier tone doesn't really flat him all that well, but I think the larger issue might be structural, as over this runtime, it can feel like Godwin is hitting many of the same emotional notes that might have more impact with a slightly tighter package. Some moments they can start running together, especially on the back half. But that's not to say there isn't nuance. 1038 is framed as a sequel to Bruce Springsteen's State Trooper, right down to the very stripped back arrangement and the writing that's now from the Trooper's point of view, and Godwin brings a level of a balanced nuance that actually lives up to some high stakes and more than some might expect. But I also appreciate that he can also deliver the best cover of Take Me Home Country Roads that you're going to hear this year and Another Leaf, which might be the most heartfelt and only slightly horny song in his entire catalog. Overall though, this is a very good, often great, kind of a comfort listen. Rarely objectionable, but one where you would probably pick and choose your favorites among the track lists rather than just taking it in as a whole. Which is why I think it falls a little bit short of How the Mighty Fall. It's just not quite as anthemic. It's a little more mid-tempo. Now I'm a bit regretful it took me this long to get to it, but I'm very happy I did. And if you're looking for an incredibly easy album to like in indie country for 20 2023, Charles Wesley Godwin delivered. I know I'm late and hope you aren't either. Please check this out. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Again, if you want to actually see more reviews, please be sure to like, share, drop comments, and subscribe. I know I'm extremely late to this. I wanted to make sure I could actually get around to it before the end of the year. 70 minute albums, I've had to deal with a number of them the past couple of weeks. They take a lot to fully process and get through. And I only have so many hours in a day especially with that video essay coming. Stay tuned for this Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also, it just actually happens to be on country. That's even more convenient. Even so, again, I'm happy I could get to it. Please drop your comments on where you fall on it. I know this guy's got a diehard fan base. I'm curious what they think. Beyond that, anything else I might be able to do to improve my presentation, I'm all ears. If you want to support the channel or argue with me more directly on my Discord, link to my Patreons right over there. And as always, I'm Mark. You're watching Spectrum Pulse. I'll see you next time.